Tyler and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Candlelit Crime Scene. Today we're going to be taking what we created in the previous tutorial, so if you have not seen that yet, go ahead and check that out. If you have seen it, then good, you've already got what I have on my screen. If not, again, this will be very easy to follow. It's a very simple beat that we created, just covering the basics. This is still going to be a very beginner tutorial, but I'll go a little bit more into depth in the different channel settings and stuff such as that. I'll go ahead and start off by playing what we finished up with last time, briefly show you what we did, and then I'll show you what we're going to create for the end of this tutorial. So I'll go ahead and play it for you. So as you can see, very simple beat, nothing else to it. I'm using just basic sounds in the dance folder, which I know are not the best sounds. So the only reason I'm doing that, I'm using everything within the dance folder actually. It's just for simplicity or whatever you want to call it. Just making it easy for you guys to follow. Okay, and I'll, here we go. I'll go ahead and show you what we will be making this time. Alright, so there you have it. It's not the best beat. I know it's not just a work of art or anything, but it's simple, easy to follow, and I'll go ahead and begin the tutorial tutorial right now. Alright, so here we have the basic beat. I'll go ahead and show you in the pattern. Here's what it looks like. I did nothing else to it. Just brought it in. There's no effects on any of these. Three will bring it back down to nothing. Uh, here's pattern one, and there's pattern two. All we did on pattern two was add a gross beat. And for that gross beat, we just picked Trance GT1. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this pattern one. And because I don't want to hear that boom, 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 boom sound, I want to hear more of a, you know, more of a hit. But just for this particular track, that's just what I'm going for. All right. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to go and uh, right click this and go into Send to Piano Roll. So I'm going to take these notes right here. And all I did to do that was you take the select tool. It looks like a, a dotted square or whatever, what have you. And then we're going to click on the paintbrush. So dotted square, highlight everything, click it. So you got all four notes highlighted once. Go ahead and click that. Take the end, the right. It really doesn't matter. You can take the end of any of these notes. But I'm going to go ahead and take the end of it and just click and drag. So it's going to have more of a hit to it. But we're not done there because it's still going to have the same sound. Watch. A little bit more muffled, but we're going to fix it up just a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and go up here and click Pattern. So now you can see it's on the piano roll. Uh, click on this, and if you got volume, yours will look a little bit more like this. So I click on Insert and click on Volume. So what you're going to do to get what I just showed you a second ago, I was messing with it a little bit ago, sorry about that, is as you're going to go ahead and uh, bring back the attack and Go ahead and keep the hold where it was, and then just bring uh, the DZ. All right. So now you just got a, a just a simple solid hit. So here, I'll show you what it sounds like prior to me messing with that. Uh, yours probably looks like that, a little, little bit something like that. That's probably what yours looked like when you first got it. This is a little bit more of a muffled sound. There's nothing, you know. Not something that we want right now. So we're going to go ahead and drop the attack so it's an instant hit, meaning it's going to play exactly when the note starts. And we'll, we'll keep the hold mm, there, whatever, because we don't want it to be nothing if you take the hold all the way off. Just be a, yeah, nothing, obviously. <laughs> all right, so we're going to bring the hold up just a little bit so we have just a sound. All right. There we go. All right, good. So another thing I noticed. Uh, when listening to this is 
the hats, it's, it's a little bit overpowering, a little bit louder than I like usually. So we're going to go ahead and bring this down just a little bit. And what you're going to do over here is the little volume. There's numerous ways to get to the volume channel or just the volume setting. But we're going to go ahead and just do it right from the pattern. So you see this little knob right here, not the left one. We're going to mess with that a little bit later, but the right one. You just click on it, left click, and then drag up or down for louder or softer. Obviously completely off, so you know I'm going to hear it. I, you can bring it back in. So it's just very faint background noise. It doesn't irritate you. Uh, that kind of a thing. All right. We're going to go ahead now and move on to pattern two. As we set up before, we have the DNC orange string on the insert number one, and we added gross beat. And again, that gross beat was just the trance. That's what's giving us that whatever sound. All right. So the next thing we're going to add to that is just a simple phaser. Again, nothing complicated. So we're going to, right under gross beat, there's another drop down arrow, or this number two, for the, the second effect that you can add to it. Just uh, go ahead and left click that. Then we're going to go over to add, uh, where is it, little phaser, there it is. Just going to add a phaser. All right, so for now, we're not going to mess too much with this uh, to fine tune it. We're just going to have it there, so you'll, you'll hear the phaser doing its thing, even just by clicking on it and doing what I just did. For now, we're not going to mess with any of these. Uh, and what that's going to do is just, it sort of does a mixture of panning. So it's going to pan left speaker, right speaker a little bit. And also, you know, calm it down and bring it back in, that kind of thing. You can do that, and I'll show you. We'll actually do that a little bit later on the, the playlist itself right in here by adding something called an automation clip. But for now, we're just going to keep that phaser on that channel. All right, another thing we're going to do is we're going to add another channel. So if you click up here for it says pattern, scroll up for pattern three. All right, so we got blank slate right here. Cool. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add a snare. We're just going to click on this basic, basic snare. And again, I'm keeping everything in the dance folder. So if you go to packs, within packs, you got legacy, and within legacy, we got dance. Not the best sounds by any means, but for this tutorial, keeping it simple. Alright, so we're going to click the snare, go ahead and bring that in there. 